I'm Sean King, and you are watching New You. Uh, I know New You. I love that magazine. Oh, we love you too, and we love Larry. And tonight, so exciting. What does this event mean to you and to him, everyone? Well, it's wonderful that he's being honored. He, um, he really does give of his time to charities and try to help and try to make a difference. He, from the time I, I met him, um, I knew I needed to have a lot of extra clothes to go to a lot of black tie events and fancy things to help raise money for people. So it, it sounds crazy, but it, no. I mean, it's just it's a whole other job yes. to have to. He has such a powerful platform, such a, you know, such a legend, so. He does, or people listen to him when he speaks. So, um, and he understands, I mean, he's, oh gosh, he, uh, he interviewed our honoree tonight, gosh, I'm brain cramping, uh, Temple. He interviewed her in, I think, 1988. And um, she was remembering that as we were walking down the red carpet. What a nice moment. Yeah, it was very nice. It was really, really nice. And um, so, yeah, so Larry's a, Larry's a wonderful man and, and gives, gives a lot. Absolutely. And his birthday is coming up, so what are you doing to celebrate? Honor. Um, <laughs> We are, uh, I am trying to gather the rest of his family, the rest of his kids. I spoke with his daughter today. He didn't know about it. Okay. Sneaky me. Um, his, one of his sons is coming with, with his three kids. And then we need to get Andy and his wife and kids. If we can get them all here, that would be the first time in, I mean, I think almost since our wedding that we were all in one spot. So fun. So, I'm hoping, I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is, this is it, I mean, we just changed our plans. We were supposed to be in New York. And so today I found out, no New York, okay. All right, it's birthday, we gotta do something good. And so it'll be a family. Well, it's gonna be so fun. Now, you know we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give young people for staying healthy? Oh my gosh, stay the heck out of the sun. Stay the heck out of the sun. Drink a lot of water. Actually, don't drink alcohol. It messes with your skin. It's not. I've never had. I, now I say that because I've never had a drink. So, um, and I don't. But I've seen people that I'm related to who ha, who do drink, and their skin is different from mine. Wow. Not that mine's perfect, because and my I just had a face peel. So your skin stay looks. Stay on top of the new technologies, you know, and don't try to get a whole freaking on facelift and do all. The, it's it's the getting. It's freshening your your surface for beauty but for health don't do drugs don't don't get into any of that crazy stuff and and eat you know uh, personally I eat a lot of fresh vegetables and fruits in their season whole grains um, and very very little red meat I do eat meat um, but you know fish and fowl um, and a little bits of that and a lot of protein drinks well, Les, we have to ask you, it's great information, and we have to ask you skincare tips and beauty tips because, you know, and you look fabulous. Thank you. Well, two days ago, I had a clear and brilliant, uh, you know, laser peel, and I also had um, PRP. That clear and brilliant hurts worse than childbirth. It is. <laughs> But when you're done, you're done. Okay. Um, and I was bright red and my cheekbones were like this big yesterday on both sides. I'm still a little swollen and I'm a little dry around my mouth. But tomorrow it'll be better and the next day better. And that just creates more collagen and it, and it creates, you know, just gives you a more fresh. So you do recommend, even it's worth the pain? Oh, for sure. Oh, see the, the thing is I was, I'm laying there and I'm just, um, tears are coming from my eyes, and I, every time she runs the laser, I'm going, <gasps> and so the doctor came in and gave me a little shot of Demerol, because it was real, it's heavy duty stuff, and he leaves the room and he goes, pretty hurts. <laughs> I just thought it was like, I'm on a sitcom, I was waiting for the blink, blink. <laughs>